Hello everyone and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 and Vice video tutorial series. In this project I will guide you to fundamentals of Vice programming in Unreal Engine 5. I wanted to create this tutorial series to show how to implement audio in new Unreal Engine 5 by Blueprints and CPP. I hope you join me at this series and let's go with the basic installation of the Vice project to the game. For this game audio development series, I am still developing this basic game with bunch of interactions. You can find the assets of this project inside the marketplace or you can download this from github link below. Previously Unreal Engine 5 Early Access released and its implementation was a bit messy and deprecated. Since new Vice versions released, it is as easy as normal implementations. You can download the latest 2021 version of Vice and you are good to go. Open the Vice Launcher, find your Unreal tab then choose your project to implement Vice. After that you can check the installation inside game project by opening VA API or Vice Picker under Windows. Now it's actually available to use all the Vice functions and abilities by Blueprint. You don't have to worry about anything after that implementation. But if you want to use Vice elements inside CPP files, you should adapt your project to be able to this. It requires couple steps and let me show you what they are. I am creating a CPP actor component and I'll use Vice functions inside. Before processing any further, you should open the build.cs file of the project under source, then add AK audio in public dependency modules. From now on, the project will recognize Vice. When we add a Vice class variable, such as events, compiler will be asking where is this. So we should include the path of this header. It might be a bit hard to find where is this, you can see on the screen. Or you can dig it yourself under project, plugins, Vice, source, ak audio, classes and ak gameplay statics.h. You can implement the whole path every time to the class, or you can add this path to the project dependencies. For now I'm keeping it like that to show you the path. It is good to go now, but I guess some of you might have problems activating this. If you add a CPP file, create something to change binary files of project, Unreal Engine doesn't do that by hot reloading. So to speak you should close the project and rebuild it and open it back. Also I don't recommend live coding much, take your own risk at this point. Of course it won't crash your project but you might not see your CPP files inside the editor. I built the project, then you can see my actor component under CPP classes. Now I will add this component to the main character and I will also add voice component to this character to compare both. As you can see AK game object has event in it. So does the component we wrote in CPP. But in CPP file we can add many more or change the way it works. So the choice is yours, you can implement Vice component then work on it by blueprints, you can do the same with CPP component too, or you can write everything in CPP then push the components functions. It is totally up to you but as a CPP fan I'll still recommend you to prototype your stuff in blueprint then if you have extra time or if you need more performance you can adapt your protocol to CPP. Thanks for joining me, this was the first story of my Vice Unreal Engine 5 series. I will update the project, I will add more functionalities to the character and the environment and we will see how far we will go with that. 